a morning training session for England's finest badminton players, under the watchful eye of their coaches and three drug testers who have turned up completely unannounced. Part of a random testing program that forms the cornerstone of the World Anti-Doping Agency, or WADA's fight against drugs in sport. There is the right, and it is happening, for athletes who are registered to in fact be tested at any time, not necessarily in competition. And on January the 1st, WADA introduced its strictest ever regulations which state that three months in advance, elite athletes have to say exactly where they'll be available to be tested for one full hour between 6 a.m. and 11 p.m. of every single day. Not easy. It is tough, um, but some, you know, you've got to think about it all the time and you've got to make sure that you've got the right entries in each day. There's no guarantee that you're going to be in the same place in three months when you're down the line there, so in that regard it's quite difficult to keep up to date. Athletes can change their schedules right up to the last minute, but missing three tests within an 18-month period means they face a ban of up to two years. That could jeopardise careers, not to mention lucrative salaries and endorsement deals. But most of all, he's competed against himself. And for that reason, some believe the new regulations have simply gone too far. Three strikes and your reputation will be damaged. Your reputation could be ruined. You could be banned for a year, you could lose your job, you could lose your sponsorship contracts. And this is too high a price to pay for what is an administrative error. We've experienced it with some of the athletes that we have been working with over the past couple of years in, in, in Olympic sports where the, the measures have been very difficult, almost have been introduced to sort of trip athletes up, um, rather uh, innocent athletes, rather than to try and catch athletes who are obviously cheating. Along with all the Olympic sports, around 600 sporting federations currently adhere to WADA's code. But football's world and European governing bodies FIFA and UEFA have recently rejected the regulations, suggesting a less strict regime for footballers, including a holiday period when players would simply be unavailable for testing. We need to recognise that each sport is a little bit different. The whole premise of the World Anti-Doping Code is to get a level playing field, so all athletes have to adhere to the same regulations. Everyone has to be under the same blanket as far as drugs is concerned. There aren't drugs allowed in sport. One size doesn't fit all. <laughs> Top tennis star Rafa Nadal has said the rule makes him feel like a criminal. Serena Williams believes it's just too much. Meanwhile, under EU law, 65 athletes in Belgium have challenged the regulations saying they violate their privacy. It's become confrontational. We've got test cases in Belgium, there'll be more in every country in Europe. There's issues. There was obviously some legal consultation on the legality of the whereabouts programme and we're satisfied until advised otherwise that uh, what we have in place is proportionate to the fight against doping. Another concern of critics is that regulations could ultimately get even tougher. Without doubt, there's only one way this is going at the moment. I don't think so. I think it's reached a limit now, whereas, you know, they do have access to you every day. Who knows? I mean, this is a, a moving feast, if you like. Around here, sympathy for those who may miss more than one test is hard to find. If you're constantly sort of getting it wrong, maybe you have got something to hide. I missed one test about six years ago, and, you know, you realise then it's very serious. So to miss three tests, I think you're doing something very wrong. But opinion looks set to remain divided. Until you engage with the players and start to work on a system that's effective and fair, then it, they're just going to keep it. It's the war on drugs. It's the war on terror. It's, we must catch athletes. We must catch athletes. They're all cheating. How can we catch them? Winning the war against drugs, we're certainly getting closer. I can't believe the best brains in the world, in the world sport, cannot do better than this. So in the war against doping, the near future certainly promises to be somewhat testing.